All right. Disabling a bitch shield is not just a matter of making the girl comfortable around you. You gotta prove that you aren't a threat, you aren't needy, and that you are worth her time. Because, of course, you're not staying long, right? You're gonna throw out the uh, false time constraint. Once you've reached the hook, which is uh, where women are throwing out a constant stream of IOIs, they want to uh, stay in the conversation with you, that's the hook point. You know you've moved past the bit shield. All right, that's kind of the goal, is to get through the bit shield. Once you get the hook, you know you're good. I mean, of course, you know, if you got a really feisty one, she's gonna come right back at you and maybe throw out a couple more shit tests your way. I do that, I think it's fun. So, uh, but really, once you get to that hook, you know you're okay. You know you're, you're, you know you're okay. Um, when you're actively announcing your interest to a woman, she's gonna be turned off right? High quality women are competitive and they don't want something that's easy. You guys don't want something that's easy either. I mean, that's why you're kind of studying this stuff, right? I mean, why do women think pre-selection is sexy? Uh, why do women qualify to men that seem uninterested in them? Because it's about conquering what is not easy. High quality women are all about, uh, some, and this is not a negative thing, necessarily. Manipulation, conquering, uh, that's why the bad boy syndrome comes into play. Alright. A bitch shield. Don't let the title fool you. It doesn't mean that she's a bitch, if she employs a bitch shield. She can be a bitch, I mean, she can be a raging bitch, but just because she has the bitch shield doesn't mean that she's an awful person. Alright? It's a behavior. It's a tool she's using for a specific reason. And it's there to deflate the ego of an unwanted suitor. When you see it, it's because you were unsuccessful at coming across as unneedy or as worthy of her attention. Now, I'm going to get a little bit of flack for this, but I'm not blaming the, uh, the bit shield on the girl. I'm blaming it on you. If you get the bit shield up, it's because you were unsuccessful as coming across as unneedy. You didn't disarm me. You didn't knock me out of my routine. So now you've got to kind of recalibrate and reapproach and re regame. You got to put your game face on. All right. Women judge men by their body language and their actions. Right when you meet them, it's not necessarily about what you say, more so how you say it and what you look like when you're saying it. If you've not demonstrated high enough value, she will activate her bit shield to either test you out of some uh, test you out some more or she'll employ it to make you leave her alone. Women are accosted every day with guys trying to get something out of them, whether it's, uh, you know, pussy, attention, or time, all right? We know this. When you've activated a bitch shield, what you've done is activate her defense mechanism, all right? It's, it's how she gets needy guys out of her face, and it's also how she weeds through the losers accosting her to get to the good guys. The guys that are able to play with her. Girls love playing. They love using their imagination. And they love shooting the shit with a guy who's worthy of shooting the shit with them. The difference between an IOD and a bitch shield, in my opinion, some IODs are used as a bitch shield. Alright? All bitch shields are not used as an automatic IOD. Alright? Here's where this adds to um, approach anxiety. How can you really tell the difference if the girl really genuinely wants, your, wants you out of her face, is not interested at all, or if she's just kind of testing you out? Look, here's the thing. It doesn't matter. Just try to crack it anyway. If you break through, great. It was just a bitch shield. She didn't hate your guts. If you fail, well, she's just successfully screened herself out of your life, saving you weeks of headache because she was probably crazy anyway. Win-win. That's the mindset that you gotta have. Alright, let's go over ways to combat the bitch shield. The most common and successful way of combating the bitch shield is the use of the neg. Why does it work? I think it's important to understand why it works in order to really use it to the best of your advantage. Okay, the, I've, said this, I've said this several times. The point of a bitch shield is to lower your ego so that you basically run off with your tail between your legs. Never to bother her again. Negs are so effective 
at combating a bitch shield? Because women aren't used to guys with healthy frames. Alright? You're surprising her. You're showing confidence. And kind of showing a little bit of disinterest, which is intriguing to us because it's different. You're blasting her out of her time-tested routine of snuffing guys out one by one. Alright? You're bringing down her aura of cool, her sense of self-satisfaction, but you gotta do it with a smile. Okay? Beautiful girls know they're beautiful. They also know that men generally only initiate conversation with her because she is beautiful. It gets old. Alright? That's where the beauty is a common thing, neg, uh, you know, that's why that neg is so successful because, you know, it's a cultural thing. Our, our, our culture is really fueled on the beautiful people, alright? 